with more brand new Xbox and PlayStation 4 teasers alongside iOS 7 and a whole host of other announcements, the tech world has, as always, kept us entertained and salivating for what they have in store this week. First up, the Firefox OS phone has hit virtual store shelves this week. Head over to shop.geeksphone.com and you can now order a Firefox phone to call your own. There are two models on sale, the $119 Kion, which packs a 1GHz processor, 3.5-inch screen and a 3-megapixel camera, and the $194 Peak with a bigger 4.3-inch display, dual-core 1.2GHz processor and an 8-megapixel snapper on the back. Next up, Apple's annual Worldwide Developers Conference is taking place in June. However, in an unusual twist, the tech giant's marketing boss has already confirmed that it will play host to a new version of both iOS and OS X. It's software for both iPhone and Macs. That means the eagerly awaited iOS 7 will definitely be making an appearance. The conference takes place between the 10th and the 14th of June in San Francisco. While WWDC has played host to new iPhone launches in the past, we're expecting Apple to stick to its annual autumn release cycle it's adopted since 2011 for its new must-have mobile hardware. Next, it is finally being confirmed. Microsoft has sent out invites to the media for a big press event at its Washington headquarters, where it says it will reveal what's in store for the next Xbox. Microsoft's Xbox team will reveal the next-gen games machine on the 21st of May at 6pm UK time, just a few short weeks before the huge E3 gaming expo the invite doesn't give too much away, but promises a new generation will be revealed. Gamers around the world will be able to see what that means by watching live on Xbox.com and Xbox Live. Whatever Microsoft's got in store though, we can't wait to find out. However, Sony wasn't prepared to let Microsoft steal all of its thunder from the PS4, as no sooner than Microsoft sent out the details for this event, Sony posted the latest teaser for their new controller, the DualShock 4. While still not mentioning anything about the console itself, it does run down everything you need to know about the controller and how the developers are currently utilising it. Finally, we all know Amazon's already got its fingers in many gadget pies, from e-readers to tablets, streaming videos and rentals, and there's still even a Kindle phone somewhere out there. But the next thing Amazon wants to take over is your TV. According to Bloomberg Businessweek, the online shopping behemoth is planning to launch a set-top box that's built by the hardware gurus at the company's secretive Lab 126 division. While other set-top boxes can tap into Amazon's media services, the company's own media black box means it could cut out the middleman. Amazon's streaming video library is growing and growing, and it only makes sense for the company to build a set-top box to continue conquering the living room space we're definitely looking forward to seeing more of this when it hits the shelves in the autumn.